Big breaking news overnight. Three American citizens detained in North Korea are finally home. And joining me this morning is political science professor Laura Lerman with what this means exactly. This is something I know I watched live this morning as I was walking into work. I know you were up watching it. You even said to me it gave me goosebumps. It did. This Why did it give you goosebumps? Well, this is a very iconic image, an extremely important moment. Three Americans who were detained are now home on American soil, and this is very, very big. Also, this is the first time since 2012 that no Americans are being detained against their will within North Korea. So this is huge. Now the hard work begins. Mm. And why do you think this, this is a sort of a dramatic return? Why do you think, why now? Very clearly, this is related to the upcoming summit between President Trump and Chairman Kim. This was actually a precondition that the Americans had established in order to have the talks. And this is part of Kim's initiative. We're seeing a, a very new Kim Jong-un. Mm. He's trying to be a global trendsetter. He's trying to you know, demonstrate that he could be active on the world stage. And this was clearly a gesture of goodwill. It's a shame that we see human beings used as pawns in this. Uh, but this was a very, very important uh, step Again, this is goodwill, but you know what does this really mean? We have to remember, Japanese nationals, South Korean nationals uh, remain imprisoned within North Korea. Um, hundreds of thousands of North Koreans remained imprisoned. So we have to keep that in perspective. This was a goodwill gesture by Kim, uh, but there's so much work to be done. You talked about how this could be prepping for the summit between President Trump and uh, Kim Jong-un. Do you actually, I mean, what do we know about this summit right now? We are a little bit more, it's actually going to take place. It'll right. probably be a one day summit, uh, probably held within Singapore. And um, they say that the location is going to be announced within three days. So probably we'll get this Friday night or Saturday. And the demands of the summit are going to be huge. Mm. We saw, what was it, two weeks ago or a week ago, that North Korea and South Korea both agreed to denuclearization. What does that really mean? The American side of denuclearization is PVID, permanent, very verifiable, irreversible denuclearization. Is that what Kim Jong-un is going to agree to? By the way, he has promised to denuclearize before. Right. Uh, and his father um, has as well. So at this point, I mean, do you think, and I know that, I don't know if you want to go into specifics, but do you think that Kim Jong-un can actually be trusted at this point? I mean, he's been very busy. He's kind of been in the spotlight. I know you mentioned he's been back and forth to China and now all of this. I mean, what's really happening? I feel like there's something kind of going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Most definitely. His motives are not pure. Uh, actually, I think Kim has got a lot of what he wants. Mm. And the, both his father and his grandfather, their goals for decades to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the American president. One-on-one -on -one meetings make them very powerful, right? Because then they're on equal terms. So in some ways, having the summit is a huge achievement. Uh, can he be trusted? I think that remains to be seen. I'm very suspicious, and I think most analysts are. Uh, but now he's, he is in many ways in a very strong position, and we will see uh, whether or not, you know, what does he really mean? I think that's the big issue. Uh, we'll see what statements come out, but we need to be very careful. And this is not tweetable sort of moments. Diplomacy is behind the scenes. It's quiet. A lot of that work has to be done beforehand. We're not going to have many big moments like what we saw this morning at 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. Uh, it's going to be behind the scenes and quiet and uh, we're going to have to see how this works out. The verifiability of denuclearization in North Korea is going to be extremely complex. Much more complex than everything came out with Iran this week. But it's really incredible to, I guess, kind of see this is history in the making. If you really stop and think about it, this is history in the making, what's happening right now. It is history in the making. We've been down this path before, so I think we need to temper our expectations mm. of that. But if we can remain hopeful that we are turning a new leaf. North Korea announced at their party meeting uh, two weeks ago that they want to now move toward economic development and start working on improving the daily lives of their citizens. I think that was a lot of what the meetings in China and Dalian were about. So if we can get them beyond the threat and the rhetoric, everything we talked about in the fall where things were so imminent. If we can move beyond that and talk about improving the lifestyle of daily uh, North Koreans, that will be an extremely positive step globally. All right, Dr. Laura Lerman, thank you so much for coming in and breaking this all down. I know that uh, this is an incredible moment. We're going to continue to watch it. I know you're going to continue to watch it closely. And if we have any more questions, we'll be calling you. Don't you worry. Thank you.